So I heard you want to beat the Lost Sector fast. Let me now I'll be running this Lost Sector with a very specific build that I made a whole video on. I'll briefly describe the build in this video, but I highly recommend watching the build video to fully understand how to utilize it. The link to that will be in the description. The exotic armor in rotation today will also be in the top line of the description on this video. And with that out of the way, let's hop right into the guide. Now for the build today, we're going to be using my Arc Warlock build with Sanguine Alchemy and Cold Heart. The auto rifle is here for stunning barrier champions. Cold Heart is here because of its heavy damage and build synergy, and the Machine Gun is here again because of the heavy build synergy, and it does good boss damage and shreds through champions. Now this is one of the best builds this season, I'm not going to go into full depth here, but I highly recommend watching the build video so you fully understand everything that's going on. Trust me, you will not regret it. This build is quite potent, and it's actually my favorite right now. All right, now the first thing we are going to do when we enter this room is just clear out this group of ads. You see me, I'm going to throw the grenade at the floor. That is going to make me amplified, which gives me that if I popped my rift down, I would have that supercharged turret. Now, obviously, I'm not going to use it in this room because it's just a few ads, but right above, right, right here, I'm going to pop it. And then what's going to happen in this room is there's going to be a wave of ads and there's one barrier champion. I like to take care of the wizard first because they just do huge damage. Definitely going to want to watch out for those little moth things. They do huge damage. I believe they can one-shot you. Now, keep in mind, acolytes do not stop spawning. They stop eventually, but don't just expect you to just kill the ones in your sight and they'll just stop like there's gonna be like two or three waves that come in now after we deal with them I am gonna start shooting down the barrier you see we're doing heavy damage to it keep in mind I am 20 levels under power so I do consider that heavy damage we are absolutely melting them for the power level that we're at and that's because we have a 17% damage bonus due to the build that we're running so obviously at this point we're just gonna stun him blah 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 easy stuff from that point now after we kill this barrier an arc wizard is going to spawn the uh, the hive guardians now they do huge damage with their super so you're gonna want to melt this thing as fast as possible you see me I popped the rift down and dude like we haven't even finished our machine gun round and it's it's already pretty much dead now unfortunately it does get that super off but I believe we're gonna be able to clean it up before we get hit by an attack okay there we go see it only used the light attack on us the heavy attack just completely fills the entire room so you guys are definitely gonna want to run some arc resist and try to kill them as fast as possible now in this next section there is a barrier champion what you need to do, in my opinion, is absolutely fry this barrier champion because if you don't, he's going to leave the room and he's going to rotate into the next room and at that point he will be very difficult to deal with. So you see, I didn't deal with him in the room but I trapped him right here which is an excellent position to have him and you're again going to want to kill him as fast as possible because if he leaves this room, it'll make the lost sector much much harder to clear in a fast way. Now after we deal with him, we're going to camp right here. This spot is going to be our best friend because there's a couple things going on in this room. There's an ogre, there's a bunch of adds throwing fireballs at you. There is a hive guardian. It is actually the hunter that uses the blade barrage and it uses a proximity grenade. Or actually it's the uh, solar equivalent of the tracking grenade. It does one shot you, so you're definitely going to want to run some solar resist as well. I don't really think it's going to make a difference unless you're 1830. But it does one shot you, so you're going to want to watch out for that. Now, unfortunately, due to the build that I'm running, we're going to have to use flashbang grenades. That is our only way to melt unstoppable champions. Now, you see the grenade coming. We're going to have to run, I believe, only two of those hit. And you see how much health I have. And I think there's like five of them in the grenade. So that does one shot you, as does the blade barrage super. So you're going to want to watch out for those two things. Now... Like I said, we do have that build limitation where we don't have an unstoppable gun. So what we're going to have to do for this ogre is we're going to throw a flashbang grenade. That's actually going to stun it. Now, you just saw it. The blade barrage one-shots you. I'm going to leave that in because I want you guys to be aware of that. You know, there's no point in acting like I didn't die there. I mean, <laughs> it, it's, it's good information for you guys to have. Now, like I was saying, the flashbang grenade does apply blind, which does stun unstoppable champions. So when we stun them, we're actually going to have to blow our load here and just use our chaos reach, which is totally fine. In these solo activities, you do get a ton of super energy because you're the only one doing damage, right? So that will one shot him, even though we're not amplified, where it doesn't one shot him, but it gets him enough to finish, which is what we're going to do when we do have an opening. Now, unfortunately, it looks like that blade barrage is up. You see, not all the projectiles hit us, but we are literally one shot. I, I think literally only one knife hit us. That is absolutely crazy. Gonna pop our rift down here, and we're just gonna start melting down this hunter. And 
we're gonna make quick work of him. I mean, he is annoying. He does have a really huge dodge lunge. Like, you see how far he goes when he dodges. It's actually insane. I think it's the equivalent of the Arc Staff Super Dodge. Quite insane, but we're just melting him regardless. He can't really do much about that. And at this point, we could just finish him. Now, after you take care of the Unstoppable, you kill the Ogre, and you kill the Hive Guardian, all you need to do is clear out the rest of the room of adds, and then you can proceed to the next room. Alright, so walking down this hallway here, we are going to see some type of cult activity going on. Not sure what these Thrall are doing, but we just walked in on that. It's okay, you guys can do your thing, you know, I don't really judge. But we're going to absolutely fry them, we're going to destroy them because we don't believe in whatever they're practicing there. Now, this little hallway, this door, is going to be your best friend because it's going to help you live. I mean, <laughs> it's the best position to live. And at this point, we're just going to be melting ads and melting the boss. Not much they could do about this. Now, the boss does have those, like, arc projectiles. It has those, like, same thing as uh, Hive Boomers do. It's like AoE projectiles. I mean, you see it right now. Quite annoying, but you, you see we're absolutely melting the boss. We just used a bit of our trace rifle from the build. We have 17% damage bonus going on while our rift is up, and our rifts are infinite. So we're going to be able to deal with them really easily. We're just going to have to try to regen some health before we can peek again. But yeah, you see how quickly he's dying now. After we reach a certain damage threshold, the barrier champion will spawn. You see the barrier right now. So we're going to try to deal with him, but we can't do that obviously when the boss is in our face. So we're going to reposition up here. Now, I do believe, I did set you up, I did say to put on arc resist and solar resist. On top of that, you're going to want con concussive dampener, concussive resist, whatever it's called. That's going to give you more additional resist versus this boss's damage. And the thing about running double arc resist is they do have diminishing returns, but if you're using concussive dampener, that doesn't actually apply it's not the same mod so it's not diminishing returns so those stack together excellently now at this point in time we absolutely melted the boss the boss actually surprisingly doesn't have much help we're gonna blind the barrier champion and at, and at this point we're gonna be able to take care of it really easily with our super and that is gonna be the lost sector now in my opinion this lost sector is very very easy so we're gonna put that in the title we're gonna say do not miss it because if you're 1830 you're probably gonna clear this in about three minutes gotta keep in mind I was doing this about 20 levels under power so yeah guys and that's gonna be the guy Alright guys, don't forget to watch the build video. Hopefully this helped. If it did, be sure to subscribe as I post Lost Sector guides daily. Either way, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Peace.